I recently watched a video on the YouTube channel, Yes Theory. The title, I explored a $200 million forgotten space colony. The video focuses on the Biosphere 2 project in Arizona, and it brought back a lot of memories. That's because back in 1991, when the capsule closed after four men and four women stepped inside to conduct a two-year mission, I was a 27-year-old reporter at a Tucson television station, and I was there. I remember there were so many news crews from all around the world. The quirky vibe associated with it all. And we'll commence a communication, a dialogue, to test, to know, and to love these two worlds. The questions about whether or not this really was science, the mysterious characters and loads of money. Here are three news stories that I did back then, leading up to Sea Day, which stood for Closure Day. Well, the countdown continues north of Tucson this evening. In about 12 hours, four men and four women will step into a giant glass dome known as Biosphere 2. When those eight go into that mini world, they won't come out for two years. Mark Horner has more. It's called Biosphere 2, designed after the original biosphere, planet Earth. A biosphere is essentially a stable, complex evolving system containing life. Inside, you'll find various ecosystems, like this jungle where bananas and other fruits grow. Nearby, another ecosystem, the desert. For the next two years, eight biospherians will live here. Today, they're going through final briefings. Soon, they will be conducting all sorts of experiments. All of this is creating media attention from around the world. Reporters asking about everything from insects to sex lives. Well, I, I know all the biospherians fairly well over the last five or six years. Um, so far, nobody has, has talked to me about um, um, starting a new family while they were in the biosphere, so I, I have no further comments about that. <laughs> And there was added excitement on this day before the experiment begins. A truck fire required immediate attention, but was soon put out and no one was hurt. Biosphere 2 itself is expected to have a lifetime of 100 years. So tomorrow morning when the eight biospherians join their 3,800 fellow species of plants and animals, it should be just the first of many experiments to come. Near Oracle, Mark Horner, 9 News. This is Sea Day for four men and four women set to begin a two-year experiment and adventure. The C stands for closure, and in just a few hours, they will be sealed into Biosphere 2. Mark Horner is standing by live at the Biosphere this morning. He joins us now with more. Mark. Hello, Norma. How are you this morning? And how are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How can I be doing anything but great? I mean, it is a beautiful morning out here today. The sun just coming up and beginning to shine on Biosphere 2. And behind me, a special ceremony is just about to get underway. All sorts of folks have turned up for this, including media from around the world. And if you look into the distance there, you can see a gentleman walking out of that hatch in the distance. That hatch at 8.15 this morning will be sealed after the eight biospherans enter, and it will remain sealed for the next two years as those biospherans conduct all sorts of uh, experiments and studies for that two-year period. Now, last night, they had a special celebration out here, a very festive mood, all sorts of scientific and Hollywood types uh, turning out, including folks from the TV show Cheers, and everybody just really having a great time out here for the past 24 hours. Yesterday, we also got a peek at those biospherans as they were walking around this area, uh, checking and inspecting the site as the countdown continued. Of course, there has been some speculation about this project. Uh, critics have said that it is perhaps a little more than a circus, a carnival sideshow. But the people with Space Bios Biosphere's Ventures, they defend it steadfastly. They say it does involve some of the world's most respected scientists, and that when this project ends two years from this date, some information, some data should be very useful that is produced through this project to the world's scientific community. Of course, we'll have more on this today on our noon show. Norma? The Mark, the time then this morning is 8.15 when they're going in? That's right. 8.15 is the slated time when they will enter, and Biosphere 2 will become sealed for the next two years. Okay, thank you very much, Mark. And as we told you earlier, today is a big day for the crew going inside the biosphere. They sealed themselves in and will not come out for two years. Mark Horner has more on that story. As the glow of Biosphere 2 permeated the early morning darkness, anticipation was already building below a full moon. Biosphere 2 was set to make history. Oh, 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 
Sunrise was met with the songs and dances of Native Americans. Today's ceremony was underway. Inside Biosphere 2, the eight Biospherians went through final briefings and continued to try on their new home for size. But soon, with a large crowd on hand, the Biospherians made their farewell speeches before their mission at hand. We embark on a journey together, you and I, and we'll commence a communication, a dialogue to test, to know, and to love these two worlds. Biosphere 2 is like a hole in space and time. It doesn't really exist in the space of Arizona. An enigma in time is this 1991 or 2020. A museum of archetypes. Am I Thalaba the Destroyer or my sweet 16? <laughs> a civilization waiting to be born. Listen, there's a hell of a good universe next door. Let's go. And then the moment finally arrived. All eight inside Biosphere 2. The hatch sealed for two years. And this is how they will see our world, and we will view theirs. As the crowd trickles away following today's ceremony, others are just beginning to intensify their focus on Biosphere 2 and will continue to do so for the next two years, asking, does it work? Is it science? Officials here, of course, are saying yes and are eager to silence the critics come September 26th of 1993. Near Oracle, Mark Horner, 9 News. 30 years later, and the research continues. Biosphere 2 is now owned by the University of Arizona. You can learn more at biosphere2.org, where you can also take a virtual tour. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. You can also support this channel on Patreon. Thanks for watching.